we see a completely non-racial society, we don't believe, for instance, in the so-called guarantees for minority rights, because guaranteeing minority rights implies the recognition of portions of the community on a race basis. We believe that in our country there shall be no minority, there shall be no majority, there shall just be people. And those people will have uh, the same status before the law, and they will have the same political rights uh, before the law. So in a sense, it will be a completely non-racial non egalitarian society. But will the vast number of blacks, after all their experiences, yes. be able uh, to live a life without giving vent to feelings of revenge, of... Uh, uh, Yes, so we, we believe it is the duty of the vanguard political movement which brings about change to educate people's outlooks. I mean, in the same way that blacks have never lived in a, a socialist economic system, they've got to live to learn to live in one. In the same way that they've always lived in a racially divided society, they've got to learn to live in a non-racial society. I quote, I believe that South Africa is a country in which black and white shall live together. Those are your words. What does it mean? It means that I and those gentlemen in the dark believe that South Africa is a plural society with contributions to be made by all segments of the community. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the language in some of these documents the accused have discussed with black groups? Yes, since some of those documents were drawn up by me. The one noting with concern and disgust the naked terrorism of the government? <coughs> that is correct. You say naked terrorism. Do you honestly think that is a valid statement? Well, I think it is a far more valid statement than the charges against these men here. Yeah. Really? Yes, really. I'm not talking about words. I'm talking about the violence in which people are better on charge by police, beaten up. I'm talking about police firing on unarmed people. I'm talking about the indirect violence you get through starvation in the townships. I'm talking about the hopelessness, the desolation of the transit camps. Now, I think that, all put together, that constitutes more terrorism than the words these men have spoken here, but they stand charged. <laughs> and white society is not charged. So, your answer to this so-called naked terrorism is to provoke violence in the black community. No, our movement seeks to avoid violence. But your own words call for direct confrontation. That's right. We demand confrontation. Isn't that a demand for violence? Well, you and I are now in confrontation, but I see no violence. <laughs> but nowhere in these documents do you say that the white government is doing anything good? Well, it does so little good, my lord, that it is not worth commenting on. <laughs> but surely that approach inflames racial hatred and anti-whiteism. My lord, blacks are not unaware of the hardships they endure or what the government is doing to them. We want them to stop accepting these hardships, to confront them. People must not just give in to the hardships of life. They must find a way, even in this environment, to to develop hope. Hope for themselves. Hope for this country. Now I think that is what black consciousness is all about. Now without any reference to the white man to try and build up a sense of our own humanity our legitimate place in the world. <laughs>